This is the easiest method to re-image the Steam Deck. We don't need a PC or anything special. All we need is a Steam Deck and a minimal 8GB USB flash drive or SD card. Before we move forward, first make sure your Steam Deck has at least 80% battery life. This whole process will take about an hour to finish. So always make sure you have enough battery life on the deck. Second, you need to understand after re-imaging the Steam Deck, everything on the internal storage will be removed, which includes your Windows partition if you have one. So here is the official definition of a re-imaging a Steam Deck. Make sure you fully understand this before starting this whole process. Now let's get into the process. First, let's put the Steam Deck to the desktop mode. Then open the Firefox internet browser. Next, press the Steam button and cross button together to call out the on-screen keyboard. Then type in Steam Deck Recovery in the search bar. And click on the first search result. This will bring us to the Steam website. On this page, we need to download the recovery image from here first. On this page, first check the box on the left bottom. Then click on Download Steam OS Deck Image. The downloading process should now start. This usually takes less than 2 minutes, but it may depend on your internet speed. Once we have the recovery image downloaded, then we need to go back to the previous page. The second thing we need to download from this page is Bellina Etcher. This software allows us to build the recovery image on the Steam OS. Make sure you click Bellina Etcher for Linux here. Then on this new page, just click Download Etcher. Then we will see all different versions. On this page, make sure you download the Etcher for Linux x64, which is this one here. This download should be done in a few seconds. Once we have the recovery image and Etcher software, then we can open them in the download folder. By the way, we can close the internet browser for now. Next, double click on the recovery image, then click the extract. Here we will extract the file into the download folder, so just click extract here. This extraction process will take about 5 to 6 minutes, so just leave your deck here and come back in a while. After the extraction is complete, we can now delete the original recovery file. Now we have extracted recovery file and etcher software here. Next step, double click on the Etcher software and click continue here to open the software. Once the Etcher software is opened up, click on flash from the file. Then select the recovery image inside the download folder and then click open. Then we can plug in the USB flash drive or insert the SD card. Just make sure they are 8GB at minimal. Also make sure they are high quality stuff. Those cheaper USB drive will constantly fail the recovery process. After your USB drive or SD card is plugged in, then click select target. On this page, pick your USB flash drive or SD card, then click select. Now everything is ready, all we need to do is smash the flash button. The SteamOS recovery image is now burning into your USB flash drive or SD card. This process will take 15 to 20 minutes. If you get a failed message during this process, just try to flash again. The problem should be gone next time. After 20 minutes, it will show flash complete. Now we can close everything here and shut down the Steam Deck. Make sure the system turned off completely, then press the minus volume button first, then hold down the power button until you hear the beep sound, then release both buttons together. The Steam Deck now will boot into the boot manager. From this page, select your USB flash drive or SD card, then press button A. 
this recovery booting up process could take up to 45 minutes. If you are not able to get into the recovery mode after 45 minutes from here, try with a different SD card or USB drive. This Steam logo screen will hold up about 15 to 20 minutes. Then in the next screen, we will only see a mouse curse, and this screen will hold up for another 15 to 20 minutes. So eventually, it will boot into the recovery mode after a hell of a long time. Once we get into the recovery mode, just double click on the Reimage Steam Deck icon on the desktop. Make sure you click the correct icon here. Then on this pop-up window, make sure you read and understand this, because after you click on the processed button, everything on your internal storage will be removed. Once you confirm this, just click processed. Now the re-image process started. About 25 minutes later, we will get this message re-imaging complete. Now we can just click on the process to reboot the deck. Also, we can unplug the USB drive at this moment. If you're stuck on this rebooting process, just manually power down the deck and power back on. It will boot into the welcome page. Now you have successfully re-imaged your Steam Deck. Everything is back to its first day. That's pretty much all for this video. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.